Okay, so um, as you know, the big news over the past week <clears throat> was the crash of UST and Luma. So I want to discuss that. Um, I thought this was an important thing to do. Um, we will uh, do our install of a Solana node, but we, we need to understand. I think people need to understand this. So, and those of you who get my newsletter, I wrote about this yesterday. Whoops, let me get to the next page here. Okay, so what happened? The UST stablecoin lost its peg for the, to the dollar. Um, the whole idea with stablecoin is you have a, a crypto that is pegged to the dollar and people use the, buy those and generally can get more interest than at the bank or the other cryptos. For example, on Celsius, you may get four or five percent, maybe five, four to six percent on a, your crypto, but you may get 12 percent on a stable coin. Now, that's the attractiveness to it, but you really have to know, and I didn't know this until yesterday, until I started reading about this, um, but we're going to get into why UST is different a little bit. Um, but Terra versus Luna fell 97%. Luna lost 94% of its market share, and Terra versus the US dollar fell more than 50%. So why? UST is an algorithmic-based stable coin, so there are no assets backing it. Other stable coins may have actual fiat dollars or other assets backing them up. When things went south, there was nothing to back it up. So the way this works is, the, the algorithm is, let's say, you, um, here's UST and here's uh, Luna. Um, yeah, UST goes down, people, so, um, take their UST, which is now, let's say, 97 cents, well, it's now, but normal in previous times, 97 cents, and, buy, and um, pay 97 cents per one dollar of lunar. UST is burned, there's less of a supply, it goes back up to the one-to-one. -one and vice versa. Um, so normally that works, but if you have, the system is overwhelmed, think about a run on the bank or something of that nature, which is essentially what happened, it, the system can't handle it. It's just not enough, you know, it just, just can't. It can handle a few percentages, but when you get to 50%, you got a problem. So how there was a run on UST, Binance, which you know is a big exchange, stopped withdrawals of both UST and Luna, and things escalated as it lost its peg. And then there was a massive selling of Luna due to the DPEG. Now, some people are talking about the liberty attacks, but nothing has been proven so far. Um, we do know there were big withdrawals coming from Anchor, which is a terror-based DeFi. So one possible scenario points to the whales which short Bitcoin position selling UST to try to drive the price of Bitcoin down, which you know it was it was uh, driven down quite a bit. Um, there's some saying the time timing is suspicious. Again, at this time it is speculation. We don't know. Um, we we don't know if. Uh, you know, there were bad actors who decided to, they they likened this to when George Soros attacked, I think it was the British pound. Um, we just don't know yet. Maybe that'll come out because there, as, a, as it says up here, there are parties investigating. So, you know, they're gonna look at this. Now, one thing they point out in the article that I've looked at is, some of this was off-chain, so you don't have the blockchain 
saying transaction A, B, C, D, E can't be changed. This is what happened. So what are the outcomes? Um, first of all, the confidence in crypto is shaking. Now, one thing, being a little suspicious of, um, you know, certain um, governments and, you know, other people who are big players, the certain parties want that. A lot of governments, they don't like crypto because, you know, you can't control it. Um, so there, there will be a push for more regulation. My concern is it'll go too far. And as I say, here, will the government smother other stable coins, which are, as I said, are different because they tend to have real something real, be it fiat, fiat dollars or something backing it. So conclusions. Um, there was a lot of market value and real people's wealth got lost in this incident. I mean, people got hurt. Uh, people were holding a lot of their, their wealth in UST, trying to get the 12% interest. Um, UST was not properly backed, strictly based on math and computer algorithms, uh, like I discussed. It must be looked, I think it must be looked into to determine if this was a, a, was or was not a deliberate attack or just market forces. Who and why were those big withdrawals made from Anchor? Um, you know, market forces, especially when you're dealing with computer-based stuff, can get crazy. Um, you know, and algorithms are imperfect. Anyone who's done anything with computers knows that, you know, mistakes happen. And especially when you're dealing with complex uh, algorithms, I mean, or complex software. Have you ever used a big complex program and not found that it had some bugs? Right? Um, you know, and even it's been out for a while, you know, the, the thing might, you might do hit the wrong button and the thing crashes. So I do think additional regulation will probably come out of it. Hopefully it won't go too far and it'll focus on addressing the matter at hand. That is a, as uh, crypto projects that are not properly back, not properly financed. And also, you know, if you're going to, you know, some of the coins we know because they've been around, they've been around the block and uh, they're not going anywhere very soon. Excuse me, I'm talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and there are some up and comers that are clearly being used for real things like uh, Solana, which is um, used, uh, it's going to be, I don't know if it's used yet in the render network, and we've discussed this in, in prior videos talking about render network. Um, and uh, so those, coin, those coins may have something more solid to them, but if NFT market, and the NFT market crashes, then we just can't be sure because that, you know, will will impact probably Ethereum and Solana because those are the coins that people are buying NFTs with. So um, I just hope that uh, this the that there was a proper investigation. If there had, was criminal activity that is prosecuted. And again, we don't know that yet. We don't know if anyone did anything improper or just, you know, someone made a sale that was just without, you know, taking care based on the size of their sale. And you know that um, if, you know, with, with some of these really big companies, like, for example, the big mutual fund companies, um, they have to be very careful when they take positions or get out of positions to not do, to, you know, not kill the market. Um, again, you know, hopefully, hopefully regulators and lawmakers won't go too far. 
you know that that's a tendency. And again, you know that they're not thrilled with something that can allow people to um, decide not to participate, shall we say, in uh, the devaluation of their fiat fiat dollars or, or pounds or whatever currency is the fiat currency of that country. Uh, so anyway, um, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, I want to show you here references. These are going to be also in the um, video in the notes so that you can read up on stuff on your own. And uh, if you if you're if you want to read about this further. And uh, this is where I got my information. So um, again, hopefully this has been helpful and thank you for watching and I will speak to you next time. Take care.